of the day, I get to spend on my own. I was tripping all high, used to sleep at your crib. Should drive out right where you live and pick you up on. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back into the channel. Another episode here. It is bright and early as we're getting ready to head to San Antonio, Texas. It's 527 in the morning. We have a six hour drive because we're going to see our niece graduate and we are also celebrating our second wedding anniversary. Two years in the game with the most beautiful woman in the world. Um, she don't want to be on camera right now because it's five in the morning. But uh, y'all, you know, subscribe to the channel. We're at 65 subs as of me recording this video. So y'all turn it up. That way, by the time I post this, I'm wrong. Like, let's turn it up. That way I can continue to bring content for you guys uh, that you've been loving. Y'all been loving it so much. Y'all been liking it up. Watch time's been up. Uh, y'all been commenting too. I've been trying my best to get back to each and every one of y'all. So I appreciate that. But let's go ahead and hit the road. Uh, 528, we got a six hour drive ahead of us. You know we're gonna have to make that stop at Bucky's, so let's get it. Do try to come back when you're famous. I always want to prove but stay. All right guys, we made a stop here in Baytown. Uh, we always stop here in Baytown. There's always a halfway point right outside. Get a little gas, go get some breakfast. I don't know if I'm gonna get the tacos and the burrito. We're gonna see. So, uh, get some gas, refill up, uh, shake back, get everything going. So, watch me going out of the way when I should have went home. Only time. Where we at, Jason? Booky! here in San Antonio, Texas, a little slight holiday in. So I'm pushing the car to inside the hotel with all my stuff in it, checking in and going up to the room. All right, guys, we have made an outfit change, as you can see. So we got Polo up top, the Tommy's down below, got the Nautica's down on the shoe. Nautica, Tommy's, Polo, uh, getting ready to go out to a steakhouse on the Riverwalk called Brenner's. Um, never been to it, but I just typed in eating places in San Antonio, Texas. And so, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Gonna take out my beautiful wifey there with me. Mm. Get her fit off. What's on the feet? I'm changing into my heels. Okay, what's gonna be on the feet? The Steve, Steve Madden. Steve Madden. Heels. Okay. Pants. Old Navy. Buckle. Sheen. Top. Sheen. Okay. Oh, and I forgot. MK, MK on the belt buckle. MK on the belt buckle. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we put it all together. Brenner Steakhouse should be fun. Uh, so, we'll tap in with y'all once we get over there. I have live music nightly. Right now. You want my 
bag bag. It's good though. That mud good though. You get two of them, you're gonna be an overweight. You're straight though. You try. I always look by wooden wood. That's because yours got dark rum in it. That's why. So it's got two dark types of rum in it. I like yours. I don't even mind it too, but. It tastes good for different reasons. Mine tastes different. Yes. Crab and lobster rolls. On the little brioche bun, they got them on the little tiny ones. And we bougie around them. It's like, it ain't parsley, but what is it called? Like a garnish? Yeah. Well, I think it's another kind of garnish. How is it? Pretty good. Are you out? I know. This one to go hold. Thank you. That's the only next thing you pick. Well, I can watch this. What's up? Not right now. We have a gray short rib with some cheesy grits. Some they taste them. like um long. Damn, you fly going crazy. So real good. How many? Two. We're husband and wife, but we're going to make some cookies. How many? I'll be in the crew of Captain Nicole's boat. It's really easy. You mostly have to sit there and have a good time. But I do have a few very important rules. One, don't stand up and don't try to touch any of the bridges. Two, no smoking or vaping or tobacco is allowed on our riverwalk. Three, please keep personal conversations to a whisper, just like you're in a movie theater. So anyone who wants to hear the tour is able to, and I can hear anything important that happens around us. People from all around the world come and stand on this top of this bridge, pretending to be Selena, the promising young singer from Texas who was killed by the leader of her own fan club at the age of 23. This building to the left is the La Manchion Hotel. This building was built all the way back in 1853 to be a school for boys called St. Mary's Academy. By 1934, this was the law school for St. Mary's University. St. Mary's still exists, but it has since moved away. And this building to our left became a hotel, just in time for the World's Fair we hosted here in 1968, called Hemisphere. We've got a pretty cool optical illusion that you can see from this river. It's going to be up to the left. I want everybody to look at the very top of the building above the Bubba Gump Shrimp because it will not look like a building at all. It is going to look like a freestanding wall that is not attached to anything. Ready? Look all the way up to the left, all the way to the top. Looks pretty cool, right? Just like a flat wall. Like you couldn't oh, possibly wow. fit anything in there. But that was once a hospital. A shadow onto our beloved Alamo. So they had to do extensive shadow testing. They realized this building here to the left could only be what is today. Up to the right, this brown building is the casino club building. Now, if you heard the word casino and you got 
got really excited. Sorry, you will not be able to gamble here tonight because this is not an active casino and it never was. This building to our right was built back in 1927 to be a place where men's society groups could hang out. Nowadays, the first two floors are restaurants and the top four floors are apartments. So, what do you think? Would you want to live in this apartment building to the right? You would have the river in your backyard, a great steakhouse in your basement, and tons of free live music around every night. Well, you would have to get in line because it's a five year wait to live in this building right here. Five years. Yeah, that's the face I make too. In this city every year, including today. There's a missions boat which showcases our five original Spanish missions we just had in 2018. And lastly, we have a military boat which honors our military. Over 35,000 people graduate from military academies in this city every year, mainly for the air nurses and teachers, anyone who's helping out and serving their local community. I want to thank you so much and thank you for joining me today with your time off. Who was San Antonio? He was born in Portugal in the 12th century. Portugal was one of the countries that came to visit us for that World's Fair in 1968. So they decided to bring us an appropriate gift. They brought us a statue of San Antonio. All right, we do have a boat that was a lot faster behind us. There he is. I'm going to let him pass us. All right. For those of you not taking the photo of the original village buildings have been turned into restaurants and artisan shops. If you're looking for a good quality souvenir, I recommend you come here because everything has to be made on site. So you're only going to find quality San Antonio made products for sale in La Vita. We're going to head through the Arneson Theater. This theater was completed in 1941. It follows the natural curve of the river. This is the only theater in the world where the stage and the audience are separated by a natural body of water. You might recognize this stage to the right. If you have seen the movie Miss Congeniality starring Sandra Bullock, the swimsuit uh, not exotic enough. Up to the right, you're going to celebrate the anniversary of the first Catholic Mass that was held here in 1691. My father Massonet. You might also notice this island to the right is naturally in the shape of a heart thanks to the roots of the cypress tree. So this has become our marriage island. Oh, it took one year and three million dollars to make. This was originally called the Smith Young Building because it was owned by the city of San Antonio itself. That's also our tallest tree. It's over 90 feet tall. This tree has a name. We call it the Ben Milam tree. Who is Ben Milam? He was a hero of the Texas Revolution. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
appreciate y'all for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, share, comment, all of that good stuff, and we will see y'all next time. Don't try to come back when you're famous.